What's going on, happy people? We are sitting here in late February, and I know a lot of you cannot wait for summertime weather to get here so you can get out there and go crabbing. Well, I'm gonna run a test today. There's a bunch of different traps that people swear by. Red traps, yellow traps, green traps, black traps, half traps, full traps. It's like, the options are just endless. So, we are gonna go out, catch fresh bait, and put them out and see which one catches more. That's happening today. You guys are riding shotgun. But before we can even attempt anything, we gotta catch bait, so. Hopefully we caught something. There's a mullet, we want that. That right there is the premier bait when you're crabbing. Now we need about a hundred more of them. We caught three mullet over at Paul's house. Let's hope we can catch more now. Oh, right there they are, right there, hold on. Okay, back up. That was what we're looking for, y'all. Uh, we got a bunch of moonfish. That's a big old sand perch, great snook bait silver mullet and then that is called a look down or a moon fish believe it or not those are good to eat we have caught us about 25 beautiful mullet just like that right there and these are the best bait you ever have back here take your knife cut right down the side of him That's bait right there. No one ever said crabs like gourmet. The key to being good at hunting or fishing or life in general is always figuring stuff out. Now, that is a full trap. That's kind of like the commercial grade full trap. You have four openings and you have two ways for them to get trapped. They come in here, then they come down there. Some people set the trap upside down so the crab comes up and then he's caught in here. Some people have it down so they come in don't matter. I mean, I really don't think it matters. You bait the trap the same way. Good fresh bait, in my opinion, always works best. And last time I was out here, I found that about six to seven feet of water was my best depth. Today, we'll be, we will be alternating between six and 15 feet. So up on the flat and down in the holes. So what's gonna catch crabs better? the full trap or the half trap. Half traps are just that. They're basically half the size and they only have two openings. Not only that, once the crab comes in, it's pretty easy for them to find their way out as well. You bait them the same way and they've gotta be labeled the same way. Not a lot of difference there. We're gonna give these traps a 48 hour soak time. So we're gonna let them sit for two days. Hot diggity. Make sure you have an R on your float. That means you're legal. Hold this in one hand and then hold this in another. All right, you're crabbing, son. 13 foot. Crabbing is amazing because the whole family can come out and enjoy it. And who doesn't like to eat crabs? This is Brandy Lynch right here put in the water. If you're going to go crabbing, it is almost a guaranteed fact you're going to need some kind of commercial grade cleaner for your boat and your hands. Like Sarah, whenever I go home, she tells me, don't even come inside, take your clothes off in the garage, and spray yourself down. Now head right over here. Perfect. That's the cameraman right there, y'all. He comes down here, Having a good time. He doesn't know he's going to be handed a camera until he go to work. Go right now. Doing good. Always important to make sure your traps are labeled. Trust me, I'm living proof. Go that way. You're good. You're like the deadliest catch. Boy, right here is like Sig Hansen. 
wait till we get up here around the corner. So we put out 10 traps, two green, two red, two yellow, two black. They're all baited the same. And uh, we'll be back in two days to see how we did. All right, you guys, we are back. And the crab trap challenge is underway. I am so excited to figure out which traps caught the most trap, caught the most traps, caught the most crabs. We got the whole crew. They're here, they're willing, and they're ready. Now let's just hope we got crabs. Okay, you guys, I stopped by and got everybody some Ju Jupiter Donut Factory donuts. I mean, who goes crabbing without like an awesome breakfast? So let's pull our first trap, see what happens. How many think we got in there? Uh, at least 10. Ah. Well, what do we got in there? Four in there. One keeper? Uh, probably two, two keepers. We caught two keepers and two small ones. Drop the float, drop the float, drop the float. One nice keeper in there. Good deal. One keeper and one small one. Black hat. Black hat with one in it. Isn't that crazy? So that was unique. My my wedding ring keeps keeps hitting the steering wheel. It drives me crazy. But uh, we got in both of the black half traps. We got one nice big male. That's surprising to me. I thought we were gonna catch more. Okay. So keepers. If you just hold them down like that, and then grab them by the back, they're good. Just like that. Is there another door? Oh. Lock that, bait it, and good. A black full trap, we had one keeper and one small one. I was expecting more crabs in there than that, but that's why you do experiments like this, is to see what happens. Yellow. Yellow trap. Ooh, okay. Hey, yellow hat trap had four crabs in it. Well, no, five crabs in it. Oh, that one's a big keeper right there. These little guys like this, we can just let go. Come here, rascal. Just let him go. Or you can let him pinch your friends. <laughs> We'll even let this guy go. That's a female. You can see it's a female. Right there. Oh, two it's nice big males. Oh, let me see. See how that has a real brownish look on his belly? That means he's a nice full crab. Gonna have a lot of meat. Hey, check this out. I was not expecting that but the yellow trap by far had the most crabs so far. That's pretty cool stuff. Another yellow one. Three. I mean, so those are all three nice big keepers. We got nice, beautiful blue crab. It ate the meat off the whole spine. Wow. Hey. Proof is in the pudding. Yellow thus far is doing very, very well. Red. I caught oh. a fish. <laughs> I caught a fish. Caught a big old sand perch and two crabs. Oh, cool. oh yeah. Oh, look at Arr! that. <laughs> I'm a mean crab. I bite people just for fun. Sand perch. Okay, so the first red trap had two keepers and a sand perch. 
I think I'm gonna be buying a lot of yellow traps, but the jury's still out. Here we go, big pole. Right. Two, two, two big keeper, keepers? Two nice big keepers. Okay, so I think we're seeing a pretty significant trend here. Little rusty belly female. Go free, my friend. Okay, y'all, so it's time to tally the score. Total, out of all the traps, we had 25 crabs. Um, black, full traps, we had five crabs. Green, half traps, we had six crabs. Red, half traps, we had four crabs. Black, half traps, we had two crabs. And then yellow half traps, we had eight crabs. They were all baited the same. Everything was the same with those 10 traps. And to have that kind of difference, very surprising to me. Now, it's time to cook them because they're all going to taste the same. Look at that. Look at them beauties in there. Nice crabs. They've all been iced down. Break it off. Top off. Base. Take your water hose. You're left with a beautiful cluster, just like that. This crab is a little light. Now, we're just gonna repeat the process so we have all these nice, cleaned up clusters. All right, you guys, I'm in the kitchen all alone. Got a pot, and I'm gonna show you how to cook up your crabs. You don't need a lot to have a fantastic meal. Get you some water, we're gonna steam these things. There's not a ton of water in there, probably about a cup and a half. Then, I wanna add some white distilled vinegar. About that much. The distilled vinegar will cause them to be easy to peel and for some reason it makes the meat nice and sweet. Then we'll take some Old Bay seasoning. Get it pretty. Then we're gonna take that. That's some boil in a bag. Throw it right in there as well. Bay leaves, they look like that. We're gonna throw them right in there. We're gonna take that doohickey. It's a steamer. Looks like a flower, but it opens right up. We'll put it inside there. Now, all the love and goodness is on the bottom, and we're gonna start stacking crabs. Just lay them in here, layer them. Once you have a layer like that, oh. Season them up. Big shout out to Publix. I really wish you would have had Everglades heat because I love cooking my crabs with Everglades heat. They didn't have it, so I'm stuck with Old Bay. A little more seasoning. This, this worked out like perfectly. Are you kidding me? Got them all in there. That's pretty, y'all. Now, whammy, we're in good shape. Turn it off and watch the magic happen. Oh my goodness, that looks good. This right here is what it's all about. Coming back after testing out a theory and getting to eat the results. These blue crabs are considerably light, which means they're not very full of meat. And we're on a new moon. So what happens in a, with a crab is they have an exoskeleton, that's their shell. 
They eat and grow and grow and grow and fill their meat up with shell or fill their shell up with meat. As they get too big or full of meat, they will molt and a new shell will grow on the inside and once it's ready, the old shell will pop off and they'll be soft. That's called a soft shell crab. But within just a few hours, they will become hard again. And once they're hard, then they will be very thin or very light, which means these crabs recently molted, probably on the new moon. So in the future, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to crab around the full moon, and we'll see if they're if they're more full of meat then. Ooh, that <laughs> nice start. Yep, that's what the doctor ordered. Now you see, see how these things are so light, I can literally just crack them with my fingers. Meat comes right out. Mm. Now, take note here. Take a butter knife, take the back of a butter knife just like that. And these things are so flimsy. Take a five gallon bucket and just put some, put a trash can in it. There might not be a ton of meat, but what is there? A delicioso. Oh man. And I'm also gonna give you the inside scoop. I'm getting ready to go to the Exuma Keys with Rob from Lunkers TV and the chef from Diaries of a Master Chef. We're gonna catch seafood and he's gonna make incredible food. This is gonna be a gourmet catch, clean, and cook from Staniel Key. It's coming up next. But for now, we go.